Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Casey, and uh, man, I, I'm keep getting distracted by like everything uh, nonstop. I try to do a video, uh, try to record this, and uh, I don't know, man. It's, I get a message, someone tries to call me, I get a text message, uh, something pops up on the screen, some new video comes out, and I have to watch it. And man, I just get really distracted, but <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, uh, pretty much this has kind of been on my mind a little bit. And uh, I don't know about what any of you have ever, like, I don't know if any of you have ever gone through this or anything like that. I do know that one person in particular that is my friend, and I talk to him pretty much like every day. Uh, you know, we, we kind of go through the same thing, and we've gone through it, and we've had to deal with it, and it, it's pretty dumb. And it's the fact that uh, people act like they care or they seem to think that they know how we feel know how you feel, whatever you go through. And they're like, yeah, I understand. And that's uh, completely stupid because they don't understand. Now, let me put into an example where everyone can kind of understand. Let's say that you're talking to your friends about what's going on at home. Something, you know, maybe your parents are fighting, you know, going through a divorce. I don't know what it is. Maybe uh, yeah, they're picking on you. Things are stupid. Things aren't going well. Maybe your brother's causing your problems, your sister's, you know, and you just want to get away from things and you're trying to explain something to someone else. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I understand. You know, that sucks. Yeah. And and they have no brothers or sisters, you know, they everything. It seems like everything in their in their life is uh, just going, you know, fine and dandy for them. And you start to realize that it just seems like people don't really care. Otherwise, if they did care, you know, it'd be like, more often or not, they'd be like, man, I, that's, it sounds like it sucks, but, I, you know, I really don't know what's going on, and I just, you know, I hope that everything gets better. Other, you know, other than that, people always have told me, man, that stinks, you know, I understand, that sucks. No, you don't. Especially what me and Bongo have gone through. It, no, <laughs> it's hard to get anyone that understands. I don't understand what you guys go through on a daily basis. And I don't mean to sound like I complain in all my videos. I don't mean to sound like I'm depressed because I'm not. Let's just get that out there. I'm I'm actually pretty happy. I uh, I enjoy doing what I, I do. Yeah, I wish I could do more. But you know what? That's life. Life doesn't always uh, give us, uh, you know, cookies and say, here you go. Let's have a party and stuff. Sometimes you just got to take what you get and work with it, you know. Well, you know, my biggest thing has been dumb doctors and i don't mean to offend any of you guys if you're a doctor if you're a nurse because my mom's a nurse and i know a lot of doctors but what when i say this it's more like about the people who they're there to help you but when you need help the most they lack especially they lack so much care it, it just seems that they don't they don't mind that you're in pain that's been one of the the biggest things uh biggest issues pretty much for me is that when you say, you know, what all is going on, it doesn't matter whether you have a, you have a, you have a sickness, you have a cold, whatever, a disease. Let's say you go to your average doctor. Unless they've gone through something that has really traumatized them in such a way or it, it kind of has opened their eyes to a point, I don't really think they're going to care as much. I have a, my uncle who has pretty much the same thing that I have, but I, I am experiencing it just a, a lot sooner at a younger age, uh, he told me once, he's like, you know what? I think doctors should go into, you know, dealing with like specialties like legs, backs, or arms should get like their leg broken or something so they know how it feels. And I've told this to a ton of people and it, it's, it's kind of funny and it's true. If they were to have the things that we have happened to us, happen to them, then they would care more. That same way with counselors at um, schools and, and, and places outside of school even. You know, when kids go and talk to them about what's going on at home, you know, all I hear from them is, you know, the, the you know, of all I've heard actually is the answers that are stock in a book. You don't get the right answers out of a book. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. You don't get the, you, you don't get the right things just by reading something up and studying about it. You get it from experiencing it yourself. And I'm not trying to say that books are wrong or anything like that because they can be really useful and they can tell you a lot of information. What I'm saying is that when it comes to helping people deal with situations in life, 
whether it be at home, whether it be medical, whether it be family, whether it be a girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it may be. You know, maybe it's about, you know, them being depressed, them, you know, enough, you know, whatever it may be, you know, not feeling good, anything. You know, the best way to help with that is try and come up with your own experience. You know, and I get, you know, a lot of messages saying, you know, hey, I need help with this, hey, I need help with that. And the only thing I can do is try and tell people what I've, you know, what I've done. Isn't that always the easiest, just trying to tell people, oh, well, this is what I did. Exactly. It is the easiest and it's also mo the most helpful way. When you tell people what you've done and you try and help them with that knowledge, that's, that's better than anything else. That's better than some textbook answer. I mean, I can, I can read everything in the world and tell you, you know, tell you what life is all about, but until you've gone and experienced it for yourself, you're not really going to know anything. Now, I've also had people, you know, I've also had people tell me, well, you know, you're only 20 years old. Um, how, how do you know this or you know, how would I trust you? And here's the thing. I base everything that I've ever done in my life off of faith. And if, if you don't have to, you know, if you don't like what I say or if you don't trust what I say, that's into your own consideration. But I, I put it like this. You know, I've, I've been through a lot. I've done things in my past um, that I'm not very happy of. You know, I, I'm, I wish I could take some of that stuff back. You know, I do have regrets. Some people say, oh, I don't regret anything. I do regret things. You know, I'm going to be straight up and honest with you. There are some things in my life that I feel have made me the way that I am today. But maybe, you know, I could probably be a lot better. You know, I, I wish I could have uh, been more open when I was younger. I, I wish I could have actually told people how I actually felt. Instead, I, I thought I was being, you know, quote, quote, nice when I said, you know, oh, I'm fine. You know, you don't worry if it's going to bother you. That's fine. You know, no, I... I wish I would have said, no, you're going to help me because I guarantee you that's what Bongo did. You know, and for you guys who don't know who he is, he's one of my best, you know, he's one of my better friends out of anyone who I've ever met. You know, he's a, he's a pretty cool dude. He makes videos too. And, uh, you know, he, he's gone through all these problems with doctors and stuff like that. And you know what? He pretty much tells them to bug off. You know, if, if they, if they say, you know, it's all in your head, you know what? It's funny. It is all in my head. I've got the MRIs to prove it. I've got stuff that's there. And you can't tell me it's not. And I'm sick of that. When kids come and tell me that people just say, oh, it's just stress. You know, yeah, stress can cause a lot of problems, but it ain't the, you know, it ain't the answer to everything. I'm sorry, man. It ain't the answer to everything. And I'm, I'm sick of kids coming to me and telling me, you know, that's what people keep telling them too, you know. And, uh, yeah, you know, I apologize for sounding all upset and stuff, but, you know, wouldn't that make you upset? And I know some of, the, some of you guys do experience this stuff, and that's who I'm talking to here. And I'm sorry if this is not like your cup of tea on the video topic, you know, here, excuse me. But uh, I think someone needs to hear this. I think someone, something needs to be done about this. I think doctors who go into uh, practices and, and people who go into like counseling and stuff like that need to have something happen to them first so they can care. Because I'm tired of, uh, I understand. I understand how what you're feeling through, man. You don't. But unlike uh, those guys, you guys are pretty awesome. And I do appreciate you guys for watching. If you have any comments, questions, uh, anything that's going on, I want to know, man. Uh, don't be afraid to leave a message or send me an email or something like that. I'm always one. I'm always one to talk. I'm always answer back. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I do appreciate you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you guys later. Peace.